Manually annotating images of coral reefs is a slow and burdensome task, so we used machine learning to do it quickly and automatically. But there's a lot to unpack there, so let me start from the beginning. My name is Jordan Pierce, and our paper is titled Reducing Annotation Times, Semantic Segmentation of Coral Reef Imagery. Benthic habitat quadrat surveys are a common method of monitoring the changes that occur in coral reefs. An example of such a survey image can be seen below. However, before any of these images can be used in spatial analyses, they must be provided with annotations. This is typically done using a point-based annotation software tool, where numerous points are randomly placed on each image, and the researcher is tasked with labeling each one. As you can imagine, this is often a time-consuming process. Convolutional neural networks, a type of deep learning algorithm, are able to automate this task, but they too can only provide sparse labels while still staying computationally efficient. Now, densely labeled images are the ideal format because they can provide researchers with a more accurate view of the changes that occur in the habitat. But unfortunately, they require significantly more time to make. Thus, this research investigated how dense labels could be obtained with the help of machine learning algorithms. Our method started by making improvements to the multi-level superpixel segmentation algorithm, which uses multiple iterations of an over-segmentation algorithm to convert the sparse labels associated with an image into dense labels automatically. The improvements we made can be read about in our conference paper. We compared our implementation, which we refer to as FastMSS, to the original using the CAMVID semantic segmentation benchmark dataset. Our comparison consisted of three trials in which we synthesized sparse labels by uniformly sampling some percentage of the ground truth for each image and then provided them to both implementations to be converted into dense labels. We compared their outputs to the ground truth using pixel accuracy, mean pixel accuracy, and mean intersection over union. As seen in the bottom half of the table, fast MSS performs eight times faster and with higher scores for mean pixel accuracy and mean intersection over union. Based on these results, we then turned to the Morea labeled coral dataset, a notoriously difficult benchmark dataset for coral reef image classification. We used the provided ground truth sparse labels, as seen down below, with FastMSS to create dense labels for each image in the dataset, like this one right here. Now at this point, we've demonstrated that FastMSS can be used to produce dense labels for images collected during benthic habitat surveys, but it still requires researchers to create sparse labels first. Thus, to demonstrate how researchers could obtain dense labels from novel images, we used the images from the MLC dataset and their newly created dense labels as training data to learn a fully convolutional neural network, a type of deep learning algorithm used for solving the computer vision task of semantic segmentation. But we ran into an issue. The number of sparse labels that are associated with each image in the MLC dataset is significantly less than what we had used during the comparison with the CAMVID dataset. So to increase the number of sparse labels for each image, we use the convolutional neural network technique that we described in a previous section to first learn from the training images and then used it to add additional labels to each image within the training set. We provide a more extensive explanation of this process in our conference paper. We trained multiple FCNs on the dense labels created by FastMSS and validated their performance using the three MLC experiments that are associated with the benchmark dataset. We quantified the accuracy by comparing the ground truth sparse labels associated with each image in the test set against the labels and the corresponding pixel indices of the FCN's predictions for the same image. The classification accuracy for some of the encoders that we use can be seen in the table below. We found that the FCNs that were trained with the additional labels that were provided by the CNNs performed on average 3% higher in classification accuracy compared to those that were trained without additional labels. This provides some evidence that this technique could be used by benthic ecologists to artificially increase the amount of sparse labels in each image without having to manually add them. These scores represent the baseline for performing semantic segmentation using the MLC dataset, and we believe they are suitable for many ecological applications. We're also confident that these FCNs could increase in performance if provided with additional images to learn from. With that, I would like to thank the University of New Hampshire, the Center for Coastal and Ocean Mapping Joint Hydrographic Center, and the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration for allocating funding and resources that made this research possible. If you're interested in using FastMSS for your own projects, you can find the code at the following GitHub repository or by scanning the QR code. And of course, if you have any questions about this project, please feel free to get in touch. And thanks again for watching.